Shalom, Kahalayim la Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rakah Kodesh, double honor to the apostles, elders, and bishops of GMS, the Ruwal, and uh, salutations and blessings to you elect. All right, starting with the 144,000. So, uh, this lesson is going to go into a bit of history I found, and it's dealing with this guy, Al Biruni. Okay, and Al Biruni. As it says here, known as Al Biruni, was a Khwarazmian Iranian scholar and polymath during the Islamic Golden Age. He has been called variously the founder of Indology, father of comparative religion, father of modern geodesy, and the first anthropologist. And uh, you kind of understand that this guy, he wasn't a simple person, he was a a scholar and historian pretty much and and he did other things as well but um, as you see here Al Biruni was well versed in physics mathematics astronomy and natural sciences and also distinguished himself as a historian chronologist and linguist and a chronologist is you have a book of Chronicles and you have two books of Chronicles in the, in the scriptures in the Bible Right, chronicles are historical records, pretty much. Right, right, chronos meaning time and logia, which means a branch of learning. So, pretty much, you're studying things that happen in various time periods. <clears throat> right, so you know, you can, you can, you know, if you want, you can read this. I just wanted to introduce this. Uh, and just to show that this guy wasn't a chump, you know, pretty much he was a he was a big time scholar, and this is uh, something I found, you know, I gotta uh, give credit again to Reddit, man, you know, when you type certain things in, Reddit comes up because there's forums of people who talk, and there's Edomites that talk, you know, about various things. They have their different um, Reddit groups, and um, these guys were historians, right? I, I forget the title of the. Uh, of the room name and i typed in pretty much was alexander the great an edomite <laughs> all right and um you know I, I found this forum and somebody quoted this guy and this is how i found this this scholar because like starting with the apostles on down the elders they we, they always say that whenever you especially like uh hey i was watching um uh, uh, elder apostle the rhyme lab today and um he was mentioning the same thing about an edict, right? You can't erase the truth with an edict because Esau will just say the Edomites were done away with. You know, the Edomites were done away with um, during the Nabataean, Nabataean period, you know, but then they'll say, oh, Herod was an Edomite. So how does that make sense? You know, and, and, and they'll just say things. And whenever you look things up, right, this is the important part. And you can go on uh, uh, DuckDuckGo, you know, and you won't find much. You might find a little bit on Esau. Like I found some information about them being, um, playing a big major role in the destruction of the temple during the Babylonian captivity. And how they weren't just saying, raise it, raise it, really. They were actually, actually, uh, you know, participating in damage. And other than that, you won't find too much on, on the Edomites, on Esau. Okay, now I'm going to go to the, to what I found. This is the chronology of ancient nations. And this is from archive.org. You can type this book in and read it for yourself. That's the power of the, of the, of the, of the, of the, uh, of, of the sky, the clouds, you know, the, the unicorn horn, the feed horn, right? The chronology of ancient nations, an English version of the Arabic text of the Athu. Athar ul Bakia of Ali or Al Biruni, which we were just reading, of the vestiges of the past, collected and reduced to writing by the author in A H three ninety to one and A D one thousand. So this is translated by, as you see, London down here, published for the Oriental Translation Fund of Great Britain and Ireland. 1879 you won't find too much information you know or, or books like this uh, uh, 
in your in, in your everyday search. And I wanted to also look up this word vestige. That was a point of interest for me. So I looked it up on uh, Adam Online. Vestige from 1600s. From French, vestige, a mark, a trace, a sign. From Latin, vestigium, footprint, trace. So, you know, I just f found that interesting here. Uh, so this is uh, his writings, this is his work, and this is just translated. So when we go to page 40, it says, On top uh, that Alexander was the son of Philip is a fact, too evident, to be concealed, his pedigree is stated by the most celebrated genealogists in this way. Philip, Hermes, and then you go all the way down, down here to Eliphaz, and then Esau, Isaac, and then Abraham. See? So, this is a point of interest where ancient scholars, they would say things, they would say things like this. Right? They would say things like this. And... Pretty much, you know, it, it, it wouldn't have been too much of a secret. But at the same time, the scriptures do say in the book of Thessalonians, um, the, the, the man of iniquity be revealed. You know, which we can pull that up. Um, no, man of sin. Right, so Second Thessalonians two and three, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Right, so pretty much, you know, we we have to fall away right during seventy A.D. You know, and then uh, through the process of time, up until. You know, the Israelites came here and had to go through bondage and genocide and, and colonialism up until the late 60s, 70s. The, the man of sin was revealed then to be Esau, to be Esau, Edom. Until then, you know, that information, which you had certain, uh, like, uh, what's that uh, Jewish encyclopedia? I forget which year, 1925 or maybe earlier. But it said uh, Edom is modern day Jewry. And it said certain things like that as well, which they had the records always, but it wasn't obviously broadcasted until, you know, the point I was making uh, the late 60s. So this is something not to be taken lightly. <laughs> Alexander, son of Philip, the Macedonian, which the Macedonians, Esau crept up in there, man. All right. Esau, Esau started creeping up and started taking over various Greek states. And started to call themselves, oh, I'm, the, I'm a Macedonian, I'm a Greek. Right? So there's another point in this book where they also say the same thing. Names of the Roman kings. Example, the Caesars who resided in Rome. They are descendants of Banu al Asfar. Example, the descendants of Sepho ben, ben meaning son. Eliphaz ben, son of Esau. Ben Isaac, ben Abraham. So... As you see here, he's naming the different, um, which they, they go off on Severus and different um, uh, Israelite emperors. But the early emperors, they had them as, or Caesars, they had them as Edomites, descendants. All these guys, Augustus, Tiberius, Claudius, Nero, Vespasian. One year after his accession to the throne, he conquered Palestine and having besieged the Jews in Jerusalem for three years. He destroyed it, killed many, scattered the rest over the empire, and abolished their religious rights. That was the fallen away. That's the spirit, right? But a lot of us fled into the mountains in the west coast of Africa. So, you know, I hope you're edified. Uh, this is, again, some more information. Uh, you're more than welcome to look, look more of this up, you know, as I will, Lord Joel. Uh, but this is what I found from this historian. And it's seldom that you find information on E. Who the Edomites are. What happened to the Edomites. Alright. Anyway. Double honors to the apostles, elders, and bishops. And Kwame Shirala Shalom to the elect.